The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are that, that, and that. Determine term 30 in terms of y. Okay, so we know arithmetic is this, right? So term 30, so if we want to work out term 30, then what is, okay, so a is term 1, so that's that one. So a is always term 1, which is going to be 2y minus 1. So we can say 2y minus 1 plus. Now n, remember n is your position, the position. So in this case, it's position 30. And then d, d is your difference. d is your difference. And you could find that by saying term 2 minus term 1. So let's quickly work that out. Term 2 is 4y minus 1. Now when you minus something that has more than two terms, or sorry, more than one term, you must put it in a bracket. Okay, and so that's going to end up becoming 4y minus 1 minus 2y plus 1. If any of you get this question wrong, it's probably because of that part over there. And then if we're to simplify that, that'll just be 2y, because the minus 1 and the plus 1, they cancel out. So d is 2y, so we can just fill in 2y over there. Now, we're going to just say that term 30 is equal to 2y minus 1 plus 29, because that's what 30 minus 1 becomes, times 2y. And so if we carry on, we're going to end up with 2y minus 1 plus 58y. And so term 30 is going to end up being 60y minus 1. 60y minus 1. The next question says, determine the value of y if the sum of the first 30 terms is minus 2,820. All right, so here's the sum formula of an arithmetic pattern. So let's go fill this all in. So they tell us that the sum of the first 30 terms, okay, so is uh, minus 2,820. So we can say, we can say um, minus 2,000, let's give us a bit more space, minus 2,820 equals to n. Now n is the number of terms that they want us to use. They said the first 30. Now a is term one, which is still gonna be two y minus one uh, plus, how many terms? 30. And then the common difference from earlier we said was, we calculated it as 2y. And so let's go simplify this now. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. I'm then going to multiply that 2 into that bracket. And then I know that this part just becomes 58y. Because it's 29 times 2, which is 58. And then there's that y. And then we can just simplify a little bit more by saying 15, and then um, 4y plus 58y is 62y uh, minus 2. And I'm going to multiply, oh, there's different ways you can actually do this, hey? Um, you can multiply the 15 in if you want, but I'm going to be cool, and I'm going to divide by 15 on the other side. So I'm going to divide this 15 onto the other side, so it would look like this. And then we're still stuck with 62y minus 2. And so we should end up with minus 188 equals to 62y minus 2. And so 62y would then be equal to minus 186. And so if you then had to go and divide 186 by 62, you end up with y equals negative 3.